Okay. Uh, so against my better judgment, and I think uh, you know anybody who's ever played this game's better judgment, I am going to go back into this Euphine banner and uh, just try to pull her. I got 56 from Pity. I have enough uh, crystal to get through that. Um, I'm not gonna go pull from the secret shop anymore. I'm out of well, I'm not out of gold. I got like 10 million, but uh, you know, you want to save that for more important things in uh, secret shop refreshes. Um, but yeah, I really do think that um, this is a bad idea. Uh, you usually want to make sure you have enough crystal to pity whatever comes next, uh, and I currently do not. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's hopefully we get her earlier than uh, this 56. Uh, but I'm kind of antsy to, to six star her, so I may as well just get it over with and see where we go from there. Um, so here we go. Uh, I probably should have waited for my inventory to fill up. Uh, but this is probably her anyway, so I think we're solid. Oh, please be an artifact. Nope. Um, in terms of artifacts, obviously you kind of want more of hers just so that comes down to limit breaking them. Uh, you're not using too many bottles of knowledge, you can use them on more important things. Um, though, <laughs> funnily enough, the important thing you want to use them on is uh, limited artifacts. Uh, anything else is kind of a waste because it takes like 240 to get a bottle of knowledge, but you can just get like, if you want Albers merges, or merges, uh, Albers limit breaks. Um, the Albers, if when it, you can just wait, right, and get wait till the, it hits the shop, that's 180, right? So it's a, uh, you're saving yourself like, uh, what, 660 uh, powder in that way. Uh, actually, it's, I want to go fill up my inventory, so I'll be right back. Go uh, friendship summon that. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, like I said, I am sort of kind of stressed out by the fact that, uh, by the idea that something uh, might come after her, um, but I think uh, you know, like I have most units. Um, I don't, you know, famous last words, right? But I don't think anything's gonna come out that's gonna make my account irrelevant if I don't have it. Um, of course, on the flip side, we could have like another collaboration or something like that with something that I really, really want. Uh, but seeing as we had the Guilty Gear rerun and the Keys and AI um, collaboration, I think maybe we're safe a little bit. Um, but, you know, uh, Smilegate's been pretty uh, scummy with how they're treating uh, non-whales, basically. So, um, you know, who, who knows? Um, I guess in terms of summoning... Uh, who was I thinking about? Oh, Phoenix Master 1, for those of you who watch this channel. Um, he he made a video. He summoned on the banner that I was thinking about summoning, the one with the uh, Holiday Byleth. Uh, this is probably like irrelevant to most people watching this. I don't really care about uh, Fire Emblem. Um, but yeah, so the one with Holiday Byleth on it, with uh, with uh, Swimsuit Byleth or whatever, Summer Byleth. Uh, he made a summoning video on that, uh, and I was watching that. Uh, and something that kind of caught my attention was the idea. He mentioned something about... Uh, he was pulling, and he didn't get a Summer Byleth uh, the whole time. And he, he mentioned that it wasn't that big a deal, because he said she was going to come back on something, on a, a better banner, or a more special banner of some kind. Uh, de decently soon, I don't know. Um, but to me, it came off as like, there'll be another chance soon, which is, uh, I'm pretty glad about, uh, cause I, I wasn't going to summon on that banner. Um, don't have the orbs. Um, but yeah, so for any of those of you out there who are thinking about summoning on that, I really do, uh, just recommend uh, holding off on that. Um, yeah, so let's see. Oof. oof. I'm getting a lot of shiny artifacts here lately uh, more Aureuses oh man this feels really bad losing all these crystals but it's alright see if I get her early oh, okay artifact cool 
Uh, any five star really is fine. Uh, Champions Trophy would be good too. There we go. So there's that uh, second copy. So yeah, I don't think, um, like I said, this is a really bad idea, but I really do like this Summer Euphine. Um, is this her? No. I really do like this Summer Euphine um, for more than obvious reasons, but um, I think for obvious reasons uh, is a big is a pretty big deal, um, as you can tell, I think. Uh, but... Yeah, so for more than just obvious reasons, like like I, like I, I mentioned in my Guild War videos, talking about, um, I don't think we're going to move into a burn meta where burn is like king of all things, but I do think that burn is becoming, um, we're getting into a, a space where burn would is going to be uh, slightly more interesting than it was before. Um, because like I said, that 60% defense, 60% of your attack defense penetration is... Nothing to be sneezed at. Um, do I think Araminta is going to make a comeback? Or, or, well, I mean, to make a comeback, you have to have been there at, a, at one point. Um, but do I think Araminta might come up? Probably not. Um, the Euphine with the, uh, what's that thing? It, it's kind of meme -y. It's kind of a meme build right now. It's kind of like semi serious. It's like, the problem to me is that it's hard to make any sort of real judgment calls on, on what's going on with the meta right now until, uh, the new RTA season comes out and people are participating more in RTA and and um, oh this is this is bad uh, people are participating more in RTA and, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, like I like I said, that build isn't like I mean part I mean to me it looks kind of memeish right like just just stack burns, but I also kind of take I do take it uh, somewhat seriously. I do really think that um, it's probably the best way to go on her. Um, just because how much damage you can pull off, uh, but on the flip side, it's like, yeah, I mean, for one for one thing, I mean, if you talk about if you if we talk about our kit for a second, um, one of the things that I mentioned in my Guild War video was with uh, t Fire Tenebria was the idea that like turn one, your strongest technique being your S three, you kind of like you get kind of stopped from using it. Uh, because with with immunity, so if their team has immunity, turn one, you, you're kind of stopped from from using it, because uh, not everybody runs like a cleanser into like a DJ Basar or a Ray or like just cleansers with, and then others one with immunity. Um, so a lot of people just run that like you know let's just bring a, a cleanser or a, a healer uh, and and like worry about the immunity and have that be covered by. Mm -hmm. Pardon. Have that be covered by the um, by the initial just immunity, and then hopefully we can stick it out um, from there. One of the things I like about the about Holiday Euphine is that she has something to do turn one. Like Tenebria has something to do turn one because I mean, most teams you're gonna run into aren't all gonna have like you know, f you know they're gonna be running full sets of immunity, right? So turn one, you can kind of S one somebody, and like I mentioned there, S one get the fifty percent um, CR push. Uh, and then, you know, you're in a prime position to, once they all burn their immunity, next turn hit them with that S3. Uh, which is, you know, it's a good play, but, you know, you really want to have something to do first turn other than just S1-ing. It, it, it's, um, what's the word? It's upper, you're, you're missing out on opportunity cost because someone else interrupted uh, that theoretical um, profit, I guess is, is a good word for it, that theoretical profit off your abilities by just bringing in that immunity. Uh, one of the cool things about the Euphine is, for one, uh, during her tur turn one, if they all have immunity or something like that, she can just S3 anyway, right, and get the greater attack buff, the cleanse for two, and for three, the uh, CR boost, which is a lot to do on one turn. Uh, certainly a lot more than um, just a S1 off a of of regular Tenebria. Uh, but two... She can, and it, you know, that's kind of, again, that's one of the problems with like, uh, what's her name? Researcher Carrot, she can't S3 in that scenario. Uh, who else was a burn? Like Araminta can't uh, S3 in that scenario. Um, ML Araminta, for that matter, can't S3 in that scenario for stuns and burns. Um, of course, for a lot of people, oh, I forgot that you need one extra. Um, I am going to go do Secret Shop refreshes real quick just to get that last one. 
Uh, then we'll do an ML, an ML summon, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, um, the last summon. Uh, five, and then we get the uh, Yufin. Um, but what I was saying was like, yeah, the ML Araminta doesn't get the burns are, uh, off S1 uh, uh, turn one uh, if they have immunity, right? So a lot of times, I mean, what do you do? You mitigate that by running the, um, like the Basar or, you know, some other cleanser in that position. And uh, here she is. Um, very cool. So I think I'm just going to go max her. Oop, let's not. Let's get rid of that. I need to go get... Uh, actually, let's just do this uh, Moonlight Summon real quick, see what we get. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of what my, my, my why I kind of like her is that like she kind of, not, not, not in a very literal sense, but she kind of counters immunity, right? I mean, how do you counter immunity? You just bring a stripper. Um, but in this case, Yufine acts as her own stripper by just waiting around. Um, of course... You, you end up fighting, uh, you end up seeing trouble with like, um, you know, DJ Basars or other people who bring strippers into immunity or like Ray or stuff like that. Uh, or even like a, another, the f come on, or even like another, uh, oh, I got nothing, do, do, do. gloomy rain, okay. Uh, or even another, uh, some other uh, cleanser or some other uh, immunity grantor. Um, but like turn one, she can do a lot turn one, and then turn two, for one, she has one of the problems with a lot of the burn units, right, is, of course, the fact that they're fire units in a water-heavy meta. Um, but Yufin, however, her S1 hits regardless of uh, elemental advantage, uh, which is great. Uh, which is great for, you know, landing those debuffs. Um on, on basically the whole team since it's AOE. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's kind of a, a point that I want to make is that she just looks like someone who can utilize burns better than a lot of other people we've seen uh, stand alone. So like if you have a team, you just toss her in there. And also keep an eye out on this guy. This is really bad. I mean, look at this. 15. Wait, what is that? Uh, 15 extra. So uh, 80, 90. So 90% to get the bomb. And 90% for a, a, a decreased speed. 90% each. So you're probably you're, you're basically guaranteed one. But like imagine this. Like going into Roaming Warrior Leo, he soul burns this, gets the speed and the and the bomb. He S2s, which triggers the bomb, increases your skill cooldown, and then yeah, and then at the end of the turn detonates the bomb. So not only is your skill cooldown increased by one turn. Well, I guess they, they kind of overlap, right? Because if he triggers the bomb, you're gonna have um, what's it called? You're gonna you're gonna get stunned. Uh, so this this decrease chance of skill cooldown doesn't work because let's say you know your S three gets reduced by one, you're stunned, so your turn comes, you don't do anything anyway because you're stunned, and then come next turn, then you can use your skill again anyway, right? Um, but again, it's like you're just stacking more chances so either they're getting one of these two probably both um and if this this uh if the bomb doesn't trigger the stun maybe they resist the stun or something well maybe i wonder how that works out with the checks uh, but anyway you detonate the bomb so if they maybe they didn't get the bomb on them originally uh you're still reducing their cooldown so basically they're stunned because i mean they can do more than nothing right but basically that turn all they can do is s1 um and you know other people are, are triggered from the bomb and they're slowed which means they're also and they're also stunned so it's like you're just taking all these turns off of them and since they're all stacked with debuffs everywhere this is going to do more damage uh but yeah i mean it's a lot of investment right you need uh someone else to hold a max tag of hells uh to get the soul burn off of this but like i don't know like it feels like we're really going into a debuff meta which is pretty interesting because it's pretty interesting that they gave us the it's interesting that they looked into um, Zerato not having effect resistance because of how many, like like I said, Yufin is out here debuffing people with fire. Uh, Roman Warrior Leo is out here debuffing people with bombs and whatnot. Um, obviously now Broman is out here doing whatever Broman does. I don't have him, so I don't really care. Uh, but like, you know, cleansing and silencing and doing what I, I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, like all these things are out here. I got way too many lions. Like look at all these lions. Like all these things out here 
are uh, causing major problems um, by just deep, having a heavy debuff meta. And, and it's interesting that they like, they're like, okay, so we're moving into a debuff meta. So let's take a look at the units that counter debuff. And they took a look at Basar, and they pro that's probably how they figured out what was going on with his S1. Um, because nobody knew this. Like, you will look at other YouTubers, and they're all like, apparently he's been ignoring effect resistance. Like, every single one of them. Um, so nobody, nobody on our end understood that that was happening. So Epic 7 creator Smilegate were the first people to have discovered this, which, like I said, probably because they, they know, I mean, they know where the game is going. They know what direction they're, they're taking the game in. Uh, so, you know, chances are they're, they're moving into a more heavy debuff meta. Um, so for those of you, hopefully none of you recalled your Zerato before, uh, without having a dupe because he's still going to be very strong. Uh, maybe he, you know, there'll be times where he can't, um, throw the debuffs back. But like, even like if, uh, the raccoon man, uh, Rio, if Rio takes over, start, I mean, not takes over, but if he starts becoming relevant and other bomb units start becoming relevant, um, basically he's immune to the bomb. He'll take the damage, right? Like, okay. So for one, he might get stuck with the bomb for a while because like he's he can't just like transfer them without checking effect resistance like he used to be able to uh and i got this uh ruel here these uh tokens aren't really useful to me because I, I got one dupe but uh, i don't foresee myself getting way too many other dupes and like i said i have way too many just regular dingoes it's crazy um but yeah let's uh get you in there I have a decent amount of other dupes. Like I have her. I've got. I, I went out of my way for a dupe of her. I've got like way too many dupes of her. So maybe like the regular. Um, like I have another. I have another Chloe. This one is in the box. The other one's in my uh, waiting room. Uh, so I think maybe off of regular. Uh, five stars. I'll have a decent amount to do something with, but uh, in terms of MLs, I don't really have them. But anyway, like I was saying. Zerato might have the buff on him for the the bomb on him for a while, because maybe he can't transfer it now. But every time he gets hit, he's gonna just counterattack for free. Um, and when the bomb detonates, he's gonna take the damage, sure, but he's not gonna get stunned because, of course, he can't be stunned. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think Zerato's gonna be very strong going into this meta. Is is, is the main thing I wanna I wanna point out there is uh, for those of you out there, just uh, be careful, like. There's going to be a lot of debuffers out here, uh, and hopefully a lot of you uh, didn't just like throw away your Zerato at the first chance of uh, at the first chance of recall. So let's get uh, let's get this underway here. Uh, let's do this. So I'm kind of curious to see what kind of stats uh, she's looking at. So uh, I don't know if I showed them well enough. I think I have the skills up instead of the stats. Let's take a look here. Uh, very interesting. Okay. Uh, she's got attack here. So, yeah, I had the skills up instead. So, she's got 3,300. Uh, boosted up to 1,100. I think maybe at 60, these will be a lot better. Um, I mean, certainly they'll be better. Um, just how much better is the question. So, let's... So, we, we saw what they look like here. I have some penguins because I recalled... Um, I had, you know, like I said, I recalled Carrot. I just, I guess I just have one. I recalled the Carrot and I recalled my Zerato because I had a dupe in there. Um, <laughs> hopefully I get that back. Um, so, like I said, 3,300 3, attack, 1,100 HP, 11,000 HP. Let's see what uh, boosting these levels does. Uh, let's go back here. Seven levels gave me almost 300 more attack uh, and 1,000 more uh, HP, which is decent. Um, so let's go. Her her last awakening, I think, is HP. So fortunately, she's turning out kind of what I want her to be. Uh, the stat the stat ranges of what I would want her. Uh, we get health and health percentage. So. If I can get her to around uh, 15k HP, uh, 12k defense or 1200 defense, and maybe 4k attack, then I am like golden. Like that's exactly what I want. 
Uh, I want 220 speed, but with the gear I have, it's not possible because I can't reforge any of this stuff. This is the kind of the curse of running this stuff, but it's all got very good stats, like 10 speed, uh, lots of health, decent attack, and like the crit chance I could take anything else, but it, it, it's it's there. No, but I got all the pieces, like, now all the pieces that rolled, like, all these attack pieces that rolled with low uh, crit chance, they have a home now with high speed, so, like, 12 speed on this, 14 attack, 14, uh, 11, 11 HP, uh, 11 speed, 24 defense, and, like, these other stats could have been something else, like HP or something, but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this one I could probably replace at some point, uh, but I like the defense on it, uh, it's gonna be hard to find something with this much defense, and then these stats replaced with health or something or, or this much speed as well it's gonna be kind of annoying but uh, I might get like obviously you're doing hell right all the time so this drops all the time so chances are I'll, I'll probably find one of this that's decent honor um, but yeah so this is here effectiveness obviously is good you probably want to drop this crit chance for health or something uh, but the speed is kind of hard to deny on this or hard for me to like switch to a different piece of gear like this is three speed, so as we can see here, if I reforge this, 65% attack, uh, three more speed, gets me to uh, two, oops, uh, 211, uh, and then maybe if I, if I reforge this, if I get something to replace this, maybe get more speed, uh, maybe like, you know, I don't know, yeah, more speed. Uh, so I'm at 211, plus I'm probably going to keep this boot on her because it's uh, basically perfect. Attack, effectiveness, defense, and health. 20% health, uh, some attack, some effectiveness. Five more speed is pretty good, so uh, 111, so 116, so I'm four speed off. I need to get four speed from somewhere. Uh, but like I said, like these, these pieces are hard to give up because, you know, 10 speed, 12 speed, uh, 14 speed, 14 HP, and, and attack percent is there as well as like attack percent here. Um, but yeah, funnily enough, for, for having an uh, effective set, um, I have very low effectiveness, so like 40 is about where I am. Um, I think like this neck can be replaced, and this can be replaced. Maybe one of these can be effectiveness or something. Um, so yeah, but these two are, are kind of like, I, I'd really like to stick with these three, especially just because it's going to be so hard. Like like I said, this drops from Hell Raid, so as long as you're doing Hell Raid, you'll, you'll just get a you'll crew of these over time, but like I, there's nowhere I'm going to get more attack uh rings helmets and, and swords because i'm not doing um uh, i'm not doing uh, what's the name golem because uh, it's not really worth it um but yeah fortunately these roll decently well so I, i'll probably just stick with them for a while uh, but this you know obviously i'm doing wyvern all the time so this is probably replaceable that's like i said that speed though is hard to give up uh, that's not even counting this isn't maxed yet so as soon as i max this we're gonna get it's not a lot but we'll get some stats out of this so I think I think uh, what I'm asking for is obtainable. Let's just go give her the last uh, penguin I have up here. Uh, for any, I guess I got a tip. Don't don't feed your um, your three star penguins. So two star penguins, you, you can feed them um, because you get gold. But I think it's not that big a deal uh, getting the gold that you get from them. But the the green penguins, you don't only get gold. You get uh, silver transmit stones, and after a while, they they become more scarce. So um, uh, silver time stones become more scarce so I wouldn't uh, recommend just uh, foddering that away and let's give her this do I have any oh, I have four wow I have a lot um, uh, six percent so let's see what that did for her uh, so there we go. I'm at 3600 uh, attack um, so yeah I think she's uh, she'll be good um, like I said just a few more uh, levels um, get the awakening probably I think she'll probably hit uh, the, the 15k HP I want. The defense, on the other hand, is going to be another story. Um, hopefully, I have three levels to get some defense. I, I doubt I'm going to reach it, but uh, that's that. Reforging this will probably give me some more defense, uh, but I do need to make up like 60 more defense, which is kind of hard to find. I'm probably not going to get any more than like 30 defense off of this. And uh, I guess, I mean, if this had, if I replaced this and it has like a defense stat and HP stat, then I guess I'll be solid there, but. Um, but yeah, so yeah, like I said, 12k defenses or 1200 defenses would be nice. Uh, hopefully, I can hit 4k attack uh, and 220 speed someday. Right now, I'm kind of capped at 116 or 216. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, I guess uh, in terms of anything else, like I do like Euphine combined with uh, where is she researcher carrot, which is one of the reasons that I started getting more interested in researcher carrot again. 
um sounds like a lot of fun um just because like you like she can trigger you um burns she can detonate her burns which is which is like you know um basically you will go first she s1s or s2s uh maybe you you strip or maybe you're fighting at someone who doesn't have all uh who doesn't have all um what's the word all immunities so you can s2 with researcher carrot and then um go into Eufine s1 and then eventually you know hopefully you've stacked enough burns or maybe they haven't cleansed them and then she s1s and basically kills whoever uh she ends up popping with this uh so that's that's pretty cool uh, i do find it interesting that a debuff speed for some reason so I, guess, I mean, I guess you either detonate or you debuff speed. Either way, you kind of delay their effectiveness in the fight. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, sure, I'll have to change your gear, obviously, and, and, and see what's up with uh, what I can do with Carrot. But uh, yeah, like that combo of Researcher Carrot with uh, Yuffine looks pretty fun to me anyway. Oh, but yeah, again, uh, dragging this video out longer than it needs to be. But uh, those are my plans for her and, and what, uh, you know, what I've been plant, what I've been uh, building on her, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully she turns out all right. Uh, but yeah, that, that'll be it for today. Um, this will probably be out on Saturday later in the day. Uh, Sunday, probably have some sort of uh, Fire Emblem video. Uh, I'll have to think about that. But yeah, that's it. That's it.